All right, welcome back. Today it's another field trip, and this is the Coleman Light 1705 RB. Hey, welcome to Two Camping Gurus. If you like camping in the great outdoors, you are in the right place. And we're going to look at the Coleman Light, and this is the 1705 RB, like I said. And this particular unit is really just the layout we're looking for. Um, it's a lower quality unit than um, the Sonic with the almost identical layout. Uh, but it has the layout we want, you know, so what you want to consider is are you going to be using this full-time or part-time? If you're going to be going just camping on vacations in between your regular job and you're only going out two or three weeks a year at most, then you know sometimes it doesn't always make sense to buy a more expensive unit. It's going to be sitting there 48, 49, 50 weeks out of the year. Think about these things, really put some thought into it. Anyways, let's take a look. All right, we're looking at now. Um, the Coleman Light LX series, 1705RB, uh, uh, rear bathroom. Now, just looking in quickly here, I can see it has a Murphy bed. This is a small unit with a Murphy bed. This could be potentially an option for us. Right off the bat, you get your Murphy bed here. Uh, I've got the front, and we'll try to work that in a minute, unless you want to trace. Oh, well, that drops down, okay. It's a little bit different setup. It has a leg, it goes right to the floor, like that. And then the mattress pulls out. Ah, uh, you don't pull it out, actually. Yeah, look at this, the work on both sides. Let's see if we can pull it all the way up, see what it looks like, the space. And that goes up. Up and I'll this side. Definitely don't work. This doesn't die. Uh, okay. Alright, that's latched. Yeah, something's. I guess it's there. That's how it goes. See if that folds up into a couch now, Trace. Yeah. Somebody broke this. It's on a hinge right there, so it's where it's got to go. Try the, try the couch again. Yeah, it's just has to be pulled past it. Alright, so I know I shook the camera all over the place. This is a very cumbersome Murphy bed, but it is a Murphy bed. Um, and the layout's pretty much the same, you know, if I spin mm -hmm. around this way, you have your kitchen on this side, which is what we like. You have a dinette on this side. And then, of course, a uh, double door fridge, which is great. And then we'll step into the bathroom here, see how, see how well this works. So, let's go this door. There's no big one right here. Got a big... Pretty good size shower area. Oh, you can actually Small take a little tub. tub. And if I spin this around. Wow, that's huge. Yeah, really. Again, this one has nice storage, nice linen closet, nice hanging closet for clothes, which is great in the bathroom. You have a couple drawers down here, you got a sink. So, there's things I like about this. The Murphy bed is terrible. It's a terrible design Murphy bed. But you have a good amount of storage up overhead here. I'm guessing a TV, oh no, LCD TV mounting there, but I would mount it over here if I could. Because the couch is down there. So again, this is some of the stuff that they're not thinking through when they build these. If you're sitting on the couch down here, why would you want the TV on that wall? I understand it's gonna be on a bracket that would swing out, but I would want it back further. You know, and they have it so it mounts here. It should mount back there, but not major. I wish you could customize these a little bit because what I would do is put a better Murphy bed in it and I would change this dinette down to a single seat dinette on each side because we don't have four of us, just two of us, which would give us more floor space out here. You know, we don't need a double. This doesn't have a slide but yet has a pretty good amount of space. Mm -hmm. But the Murphy bed is, it's a problem waiting to happen. 
and it's already happened. I mean, it's already broken. It's very wobbly handling it. I mean, the, the uh, Sonics are way better quality. And what brand is this? Coleman. Coleman? Wow. Coleman. Take some advice from Sonic. Fix your Murphy bed. Mm. It's a terrible, terrible design. I like the idea of it. You're trying to give the front a little bit of a fancy look when it's down here, like the base of a bed, but it's not functional, really. Anyways, uh, that's that one. All right, so as you can see, this really is a layout that we really, really like. Um, there's a little bit of quality issues. Of course, it's a much lower cost unit than some of the other ones we've looked at, but it's the layout that's important. And we're trying to think about the usage we're gonna get out of it, how much we're gonna use it uh, at this point before we're actually full-time when we really want something super, super solid build. So these are things to think about. Uh, it's a nice small unit. It's got the Murphy bed in the front. It's got the bathroom in the rear. It's got the dinette and the kitchen right where we like it. You know, there's always features that you can improve on here and there but this is a unit that we really like now this is not the unit for everybody if you have kids this is not a very good unit you know you have to put the table down for a bed um, there's plenty of other great units out there if you have children you need bunks in the back or the front or different setups but anyway this is just another idea that you could use and more great camping tips and things to think about while you're out hunting now I'm very happy you stayed this long, uh, watched my video. I got a couple things I'd like you to do. Number one, I want you to comment on this video. Like it if you liked it. If you didn't like it, push the dislike. But it takes some time. Tell me what you think, tell me what you like. I'm always trying to get better, bringing you content every single day about camping related topics uh, from all areas, whether it's a camper or backcountry uh, camping in a hammock. So those are the type of things we talk about. The next thing I want you to do, I want you to share. You know, this camper may not be for you, but it might be somebody. And if we share these videos and get the information out there, we can help people make a good decision, an educated decision based on what is available. So take a minute. It only takes you a second. Click that share button and get this video to as many people as possible. Again, it helps me, helps them, helps everybody all the way around. Last but not least, please take the time to push that subscribe button. You don't want to miss any future videos. Like I said, I'm releasing them every single day. So there's lots of content and lots more to come. And we're going to be veering off into all kinds of directions, all camping related. So you don't want to miss that. Last but not least, I want to offer you something to help you out. If you think you're going to be going camping anytime soon, or if you're already going camping, every time we take off, we miss and forget stuff. So I have a tool that's going to help you make that situation better. It's a ebook, free ebook, as well as a pre-trip checklist. You can click on the link right down here in the description, and it's pretripchecklist.gra.com. Click on that, head on over there, get your free ebook, get your pre-checklist, and it's going to help make sure you and your unit are ready to hit the road to make your camping experience the best it could possibly be. Hey, thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day, and always have a fantastic time out there camping.